the simulations were missing something. What they underestimated was the self-correcting behavior of certain orbital configurations. When Kepler-16b was discovered, astronomers realized the planet sits in a gravitational sweet spot. Its orbital period is almost exactly seven times the orbital period of its two suns around each other. This near resonance isn't coincidence, it's stability. When gravitational perturbations try to push the planet inward, the timing of its orbit relative to the star's positions creates counteracting nudges that push it back. The system self-corrects. It's like a ball that keeps rolling back to the bottom of a bowl no matter which way you tip it. Arrakis suddenly looked less impossible. But June's desert planet raises a second question, one the film visualises with those endless dunes and precious water. Could a world orbiting two stars actually end up bone dry? The answer involves habitable zone geometry, and it's stranger than fiction. Our full video on this was posted recently. Check it out on our channel profile now.